On January 12, 1975, the Pittsburgh Steelers defeated the Minnesota Vikings 16-6 to win Super Bowl IX. This was their first title in franchise history. After being the laughing stock of the NFL for years on end, they had finally won it all, and would eventually start one of the league's greatest dynasties by winning four Super Bowls in a six-year stretch. And the reason why they won Super Bowl IX? A pair of shoes. Allow me to explain. In the first half, Pittsburgh struggled mightily on offense. On their first eight drives in the first half, the Steelers got nothing going, scoring no points. In fact, Pittsburgh only had five first downs on their first seven drives of the game. The only points of the game at the end of the half came off of a safety after a botched snap by Fran Tarkenton and company. And a big reason why Pittsburgh struggled offensively was because they were slipping and sliding all over the place. The field was very wet. It rained pretty heavily before the game, as since Tulane Stadium was an artificial turf surface, this did not bode well at all. Players were falling and weren't able to stay upright, which made for a sloppy affair where nobody on offense was able to get much of anything going. At halftime, the Steelers made one of the biggest adjustments in Super Bowl history when they changed their shoes. And the man responsible for that was equipment manager Tony Parisi. See, the story of how the Steelers won Super Bowl IX actually goes all the way back to November 14, 1971, when the Steelers played the Dolphins for the first time ever. Miami won that game 24-21, and Parisi noticed something during that game. The field was slippery since it rained in Miami beforehand, and while the Steelers were falling and having trouble, the Dolphins weren't. Parisi then called up Miami's equipment manager about this, and the manager unveiled his team's secret. It was a multi-cleated composition that he had given to the players. Parisi kept this conversation in the back of his head. On December 29, 1974, the Steelers defeated the Oakland Raiders in the AFC Championship to advance to their first ever Super Bowl. Much like there is today, there was a two-week gap between the conference championships and the Super Bowl. And during that gap, Parisi called up the National Weather Bureau to find out what the weather forecast was going to be in New Orleans. When he was informed that there was going to be rain, he knew he needed to act. The only problem? The shoes he was looking for weren't out on the market yet. So Parisi got to digging. He searched high and low to find something that would work under the circumstances. And he found his answer all the way up in Montreal. Without even consulting the team of the organization, and operating entirely on his own power, he ordered shoes for all the players, and they arrived on Wednesday just days before the game. The team had never practiced or played in those shoes before Sunday's Super Bowl. At the end of the first half, the Steelers were looking for a way to stop slipping all over the field. That's when Parisi suggested the shoes. Parisi said that he doesn't dictate to the players what they should wear, but he does suggest certain pieces of equipment, and if they like his suggestion, then that's fine. At halftime, Tons of players made the switch, including Terry Bradshaw, Franco Harris, and Randy Grossman, just to name a few. The shoes received praise. A lot of players wore them, and it was as if they came from heaven. He said that the shoes made a tremendous difference out there, and that he had no idea how Parisi even got the shoes if they weren't out on the market yet. So there you have it. Arguably the greatest dynasty in NFL history began because of a wet field and a pair of shoes.